Topology refers to a set of mathematical rules that govern how features behave in relation to one another. And this is very powerful in terms of any GIS. It, in many cases, um, reduces a lot of error, makes it easier to manage data, and automatically enhance the data integrity that we have in and amongst our layers. In Arc Pro, there are various ways of accessing topology, but the best one is the, the geodatabase topology, rather, that is stored within your geodatabase. You will have to work within a geodatabase for this, but since Arc Pro and the way it's set up uses projects, each project has its own native geodatabase attached to it, so this is not a problem. So what you'd have to do is navigate to your geodatabase and create a new feature dataset by right-clicking on it and saying new. A feature dataset is basically the container that will allow you to define the rules that govern the topological structure in the features or layers that are contained within it. So you're going to create a feature dataset. It will automatically be saved in your Arpa Geo database, my project in this case. You're going to give it a name that makes sense to you. And it's very important that you set a coordinate system to this. We know that topology enforces relationships, so it's very important to know the projection that you're going to be working with because the projection defines the cluster tolerance or the snapping tolerance of when features should snap together. This is based directly on the projection, so it could be in feet, in kilometers, in degrees, if you choose a, a geographic coordinate system. In this particular instance, I'm going to select a um, coordinate system that is based on my layers that are within my, my geodatabase, for example, the road projected layer here. I can add this to the screen so you can see what it looks like. If I go on the properties here, it will tell me all the information I need to know. Under my source, for example, it gives me my special reference and tells me it's an LR29, which is a local project coordinate system for South Africa. It's based on Transus Mercator, and it uses hard to be a 1994 as a geographic coordinate system. So I navigate back to my geodatabase, say new feature datasets. And I'm going to select the LO29 from my layer. And that is all that you'll have to do to create the feature datasets. You can, of course, also have gone directly to the geoprocessing tools and looked for the tools within it, create feature datasets, and it would have allowed you to decide where you want to create it. Now that you've created the, the feature data set, you'll have to populate this with layers that you want to add into it. I've got various layers here. I've got road projection, road selection, zoning, and zoning um, within the flood line and lowland. If I add this to my screen, you'll see that there are the, the road selection is simply a sub-selection of my roads layer. We call this one zoning selection. This is my zoning layer. And the zoning selection will be a subset of that. as you can see there. Now, I'm interested in the relationships that exist in between these parcels and these roads. So were I now to add, for example, the road projection layer, which is the full road layer, and the zoning layer, which is the full zoning layer, to this feature data set, I could enforce certain rules. For example, these are zoning rules or zoning parcels, so these parcels should never overlap with each other. My boundary, my F, um, should not be overlying with any other um, parcels of the same type, or the, my, one zoning should not overlap with any other zoning, for example. 
So I can add this to my, my project, my future data set, but it's very important here to know that the zoning projection should be the same as that of the future data set. And as you can see here, this doesn't work because the spatial references do not match. If I want to see why this is the case, I simply open the source and the, spe and the spatial reference again. And you can see here that this one is not projected into a planar projection. It's currently in a geographic coordinate system. The zoning selection, however, the subset selection is already in the correct projection. So that I can add to my topology. My topology feature data set and there it has been added. Same applies to road project and road selection. Now both of these are already in my correct projection. So I can add either one to the feature data set. And I can now um, decide on rules that will govern the topological structure between these or within them. To do that, I have to first create a topology. So I say right click new topology. And I just say what feature will take part in this topology. For example, I'm only interested in the zoning parcels for now. I want to make sure that they don't overlap. This is my cluster tolerance. When do I consider something to be overlapping or not? I can add rules. For example, my zoning parcels must not over overlap with each other as a simple rule. This will be my summary and you can finish it. And that is how you would have created a topological structure. You can now, of course, add this to your view. You just drag it in. There are my roads. And my selection of zoning parcels. And we can now use this topology that we have created to identify errors and to fix these. This will be the topic of the next video.